China's leading figure in aircraft carrier electromagnetic catapult and submarine noise reduction technology. Mao Weiming, academician of the Chinese Academy of Engineering, professor at Naval University of Engineering. Would you believe it? The United States' most advanced aircraft carrier, which cost $13.3 billion to build, has been in service for eight years yet still struggles to launch the 30-ton stealth fighter jet. Meanwhile, China's newest aircraft carrier, currently undergoing sea trials, can easily catapult the J-35 into the sky, with a failure rate that is dozens of times lower than the American system. This mind-boggling disparity all stems from one Chinese scientist, Ma Weiming. He is an academician of the Chinese Academy of Engineering, a professor at the Naval University of Engineering, and a leading figure in China's ship power and electrical engineering field. He conquered the world-class challenge of electromagnetic catapult technology, achieving a leap from follower to leader. The Medium Voltage Direct Current, MVDC, integrated power system developed by his team is a full generation ahead of comparable U.S. technology, allowing China to break the Western technological monopoly in the field of aircraft carrier electromagnetic catapults and laying a solid foundation for the accelerated development of China's naval equipment. The key secret is in the electricity. The critical secret lies in the power system. In the race for ship power systems, the medium voltage alternating current, MVAC, system used in U.S. aircraft carriers is like an outdated antique from the last century. When high-energy consuming equipment like the electromagnetic catapult and directed energy weapons are activated simultaneously, it's like switching on multiple high-power appliances in an old house. The fragile circuit breaker instantly trips, paralyzing the entire system. In sharp contrast is the MBDC integrated power system achieved by Ma Weiming's team after over a decade of dedication. This system not only innovates the power supply architecture but also acts as an intelligent energy hub. By dynamically regulating energy distribution, it can precisely transmit 92% of the electrical energy to critical combat units. During the same period, the energy utilization rate of comparable U.S. systems was only 78%. This 14 percentage point difference is backed by thousands of parameter optimizations and disruptive technological innovations. The Silent Revolution, Submarine Noise Reduction In the covert battlefield of deep sea warfare, submarine noise reduction technology is the sword of Damocles for major navies. Current U.S. Navy submarines still rely on traditional mechanical drive shafts and the noise from gear meshing and bearing friction during rotation makes them a mobile sound source in the deep sea. Ma Weiming and his team pioneered a different approach, developing shaftless rim-driven pump jet propulsion, SRPJP, technology. This technology eliminates the mechanical transmission device, instead using a motor to directly drive the impeller within the annular duct, completely eliminating the mechanical noise sources of traditional propulsion systems. Actual test data shows that Chinese submarines equipped with this technology have seen their noise levels plummet to 95 decibels, nearly blending in with the ocean background noise. When U.S. sonar operators find the suddenly vanishing and then mysteriously reappearing tracks of Chinese submarines on their screens, they might not realize that this technological breakthrough, listed by the Pentagon as a top-secret threat, is quietly rewriting the rules of future naval warfare. Next. Let's explore how this scientist, whom the U.S. media called worth 10 divisions, managed to rewrite the rules of world naval warfare, from Chinese don't understand to world leader. In the 1990s, China's shipbuilding industry was climbing a steep hill. The core power system of naval vessels, high-power generators, was entirely dependent on imports from the United States. During the commissioning of a certain type of destroyer, the imported generator, worth tens of millions, frequently experienced abnormal vibrations and sudden power drops, even causing full ship blackouts. When Ma Weiming led his technical team to invite American experts for on-site inspection, the sharply dressed U.S. engineer arrogantly pointed to the equipment manual and scoffed. The Chinese don't even understand basic operation. Problems are inevitable. Facing this baseless accusation, the electromagnetic expert, who was just past 30, slammed his fault detection report onto the conference table, the metal surface reflecting his flushed face. 
We'll do it ourselves. Late that night, on the second floor of a Naval Engineering University laboratory building, a 20-square-meter abandoned restroom was crudely converted. The incandescent light bulb swung beneath the water-stained ceiling. Ma Wei-Ming and five young researchers crowded into the confined space, their entire equipment consisting of a second-hand oscilloscope, a multimeter purchased with $3,500 in funds, and a patched-up workbench. Meanwhile, across the ocean, the U.S. Navy was splurging $4.7 billion on the Ford-class aircraft carrier electromagnetic launch system project, with a research team of over a thousand and a testing area the size of 20 football fields. This stark contrast only fueled the determination of the Chinese researchers. They spent their days collecting data in the warship engine room and their nights huddled in the restroom to run calculations. The grease stains on their uniforms and the dense derivation formulas in their notebooks bear witness to the arduous start of this technological breakthrough. After six years of this hard struggle, Ma Wei-Ming not only solved the vibration problem but also developed the world's first AC-DC dual winding generator. In contrast, the U.S. Navy's electromagnetic catapult system on the Ford-class aircraft carrier, due to interdepartmental bickering and defense contractors prioritizing profit, was never designed to be compatible with the F-35C fighter jet. Now, changing it requires costly rework. The fundamental difference here is not technical skill but that some treat national needs as a life-or-death mission, while others treat a national defense project as a business. A decisive leap forward, the electromagnetic catapult. In 2001, at the age of 41, Ma Weiming stood on the stage to receive the title of Academician of the Chinese Academy of Sciences, but his gaze was already set on the distant deep blue. At that time, China's ship power field faced a critical choice. The international consensus was that a steam catapult system was the necessary path for developing aircraft carrier takeoff technology. However, after three months of intense study in his lab, Ma Weiming's calculations, spread across his entire office floor, revealed the limitations. The steam catapult system required massive steam accumulators and a complex pipeline system, took several hours to recharge after each launch, and had a failure rate as high as 3 per thousand. We cannot forever trail behind others. At the major National Defense Technology Project Deliberation Meeting, Ma Weiming slammed a stack of research reports onto the table. When a skeptic questioned, Even the United States hasn't fully mastered electromagnetic catapult technology. He took off his glasses, wiped the lenses, and asserted firmly, Precisely because the U.S. hasn't fully grasped it, it is our opportunity to overtake them. If we wait for the U.S. to complete its technology iteration, we will need at least 20 years to catch up. Faced with concerns that Project failure will affect the entire aircraft carrier construction schedule. He paused, then rose, his gaze sweeping over everyone present. Scientific research is not business. National defense requires the confidence to win the future. Even if I stake my reputation, I must blaze this new trail for the country. Following the meeting, he and his team worked continuously for 180 days in the laboratory proving the feasibility of the electromagnetic catapult system through more than 8,000 simulations. This ultimately put China's aircraft carrier power revolution on the fast track a decade ahead of schedule. No one expected him to invest 20 million yuan of his own savings and achieve success in just five years. China's electromagnetic catapult can launch a 30-ton aircraft in 2.1 seconds with an energy efficiency exceeding 90%. In contrast, the U.S. Ford Carrier's catapult was designed for 4,166 fault-free launches but failed after only about 600. Its four catapults share a single system, meaning one failure paralyzes all of them, once rendering the carrier unable to launch aircraft for five days. Even Donald Trump once angrily called for a switch back to steam catapults, but the die was cast. This proves that so-called gradual progress is just self-consolation for the weak. True power lies in seeking opportunities for a breakthrough. The subsea game-changer, shaftless pump jet propulsion. The disruption in the underwater battlefield is even more astonishing. In the 1990s, the U.S. Seawolf-class attack nuclear submarine was hailed by Western media as the ghost of the ocean. 
for reducing its noise to 100 decibels using duct pump jet propulsion. This technology, which uses a drive shaft to power the pump jet device, was considered a disruptive breakthrough at the time. However, academician Ma Weiming's team took a different path. After 12 years of dedicated research, they developed the shaftless rim-driven pump jet propulsion, SRPJP, technology. It completely eliminates the drive shaft that runs through the hull, instead using an annular permanent magnet motor to directly drive the blades, essentially giving the submarine an invisible thruster. In 2020, this technology was first applied to the Type 095 attack nuclear submarine, achieving a qualitative leap in China's submarine stealth capability. Actual test data shows its underwater cruising noise is stably controlled below 95 decibels, quieter than the ocean background noise. In contrast, the U.S.'s active mainstay, the Virginia-class nuclear submarine, still uses an improved duct pump jet technology, with noise levels fluctuating between 98 and 102 decibels. Even more shocking to the West, Data from the Chinese Navy Equipment Research Institute indicates that China's annual submarine production capacity has reached an astonishing 36 vessels, 232 times that of the U.S. during the same period, 0.156 vessels, rewriting the rules of naval warfare. The U.S. Office of Naval Intelligence's 2023 report, Chinese Naval Modernization, made a rare admission. China has achieved a cross-generational leap in submarine stealth technology, significantly narrowing the technological gap. The Wall Street Journal was even more alarmed, exclaiming that Chinese submarines equipped with SRPJP technology are becoming lethal silent arrows, lurking in the deep Pacific, thoroughly shattering the U.S.'s underwater technological monopoly since the Cold War. This breakthrough is not only a victory for engineering technology but also a forceful counterattack against Western technological hegemony, marking the acquisition of true strategic deterrence by the Chinese Navy in the deep blue. From a restroom laboratory to leading the world, Ma Weiming has proven throughout his life, Chinese people are not inferior to anyone, the key is to be bold and tenacious. He invested all his prize money into scientific research, saying, what the country needs is the direction of my research. Such a national hero deserves everyone's respect. Now that the Fujian aircraft carrier is undergoing sea trials, the blueprint for super warships has been drawn. Where do you think China's next technological breakthrough will be? Let's discuss it in the comments. And don't forget to like and follow to cheer on Chinese technology.